All right, welcome back to another video. This is video is going to be on how to add sections, rows, and columns onto a page using the UX Builder. So the first thing, uh, once you're in the UX Builder on a page, to add a new section, you want to hover over an area where the blue line goes fully across the page, like this, and click that plus button. Once you click the plus button, over here you can select the section element. So what that is going to do, it's going to create a kind of section where we're going to be able to add anything into. So the section has been created and all of the settings are over here. If we wanted to change the background of it, we can set an image to it. We can change the color of it. We can set an overlay over and over the image or the color. Uh, you can do effects. There's a couple effects here. Uh, the layout, right now it's dark. We can select light which would work for a darker colored background. Um, and then the rest of these settings, uh, the padding is how much is on the top and the bottom. Right now it's 30 pixels, so if we increase it, it's going to put padding um, and this much amount of space on the top and the bottom in between the elements that you add here. So that's default at 30. <clears throat> we can set a minimum height, so if we set 500 pixels, it's just going to set this, um, and no matter what is in here, it's going to be at least 500 pixels for this section. Um, and that is it for the settings for um, a section. So let's add a row. So click the button in here. Uh, so the reason you want to add a row and a column is because if we just add any text in here, it's just going to go full width. So we want to add a section and a column to make it so um, it sections it off and makes it look nice. So if we add, if we click the plus button, click row, and now we can choose how many columns we want. And there's a couple of presets here, but let's say we want to do um, one column. So it's going to make it full, the full width, but that padding is going to be on each side. So it's not going to be um, stuck to the side of the page. And so now we can click, and it. Um, it already added the column in automatically. That was the preset that we just chose. And now we're ready to click the plus button inside of the column and choose any other elements in here. Um, and then, for example, the text. It's not um, sticking to the edge of the, the page now. It's going to be in the column, and it's going to look very nice. For the column settings, you can change the width here, so right now it's set to 12. If we want to make it half width, we would set it to 6. And then uh, we can add another column here with a width of 6. And then we can make two columns. Uh, you can add a divider in between those two columns. You can set additional padding or additional margins. Uh, you can set the text align. So right now it's just defaulted to the left. We can set it to the, the center or to the right. You can put a background color on the actual column. And then if you uh, set that back in color, we can do a background radius where it's going to um, get rid of those sharp corners on the edges. Uh, and then you can change the color. So right now it's on a dark color. We can change the, the color of the text to white, to light. Uh, we can add a text shadow behind it. And then there's a bunch of other options in here that you can choose from. Uh, you can play around with a lot of these options and make some pretty cool things. All right, that's going to be it for adding section rows and columns. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.